I just finished my newsletter project, so I'm going to show you the last two features that I've been working on, and I'm going to show you the demo of it as well. So let's see how I do that. So the first feature is send an email, and the second feature is the unsubscribed. So how I send an email is like this. So first I go into the dashboard. So this is my dashboard. And with dashboard right now, everything, the data right here is real. So the, even the chat right here, we fetch the data from the database and display the chat right here. So it's displayed the date, let's say April 4, we, sh we have four uh, subscriber and April 1, we have one subscriber. And how I send an email is I create a form right here. And after that, I take the value from the form right here and then put it into my newsletter template. So my news newsletter template, it's looking something like this. So it's not looking really good, but yeah, I mean, like this is my first draft. I just finished it today. I mean, if I have time, I'm going to come back and improve it. So basically uh, we have a title description right here and the feature and the YouTube link right here. So basically it just take all of the input right here and then pass as a prop to this one. If we look at the code, it looks something like this. So you can see this is like the challenge newsletter inside the emails folder. And we take all of this prop right here. So when I fill the pro uh, props, it's going to look something like this. So basically, my newsletter is sending you guys the project each week or whenever I have a new project ideas. So I'm going to send to you. And then so we can build it together if you wanted to have like, you know, if you don't have any project uh, to build. So basically, that's what is my newsletter now. And that's why it we have only this one. So if I have multiple like, you know, newsletter, I probably build a different template for it. So yeah that's how i do it so before i send to everyone so i in my newsletter as you can see right here we have publish and send test so the send test right here is going to send to the test mail and then uh, when publish right here is going to send to every email so for the send test right here we can take a look at the code so if you look at the code right here so this is the server action so we have the send test right here which we're using these resend function and to send an email which is really easy so you can see so this is i using the test mail and then we passing the challenge template which is from this one we render it and pass the payload and that pretty much it so if we have an error we return if not we just return error null and when we publish, I'm going to use this function send batch right here. So what send batch do is list every email from the email database. And after that, we going to check if there's an error. If not, we just loop in that error uh, in that email and then generate this one because this is the requirement from the resend. Basically, we putting the we changing the email right here. So that is pretty much it. So after that, I just batch send. It's going to send to everyone. So, all right. So right now, let's try to test this one. I haven't tested this one yet on production. So I'm just, I'm not going to do publish because this is test. So I don't want to spam everyone that's been subscribed. So right now, let's try to do the send test. So this is going to be test project. And this is like test, test feature as well. And the YouTube link, let's try to copy this link and then we can paste this one right here. Hopefully there's no error. Okay. I think it's, uh, I need to increase more on this one. Maybe uh, a few more feature. So because this is also do validation and I hope this is okay. So right now it's sending. So, all right. Okay. So right now it's please check your inbox and let's try to open my Gmail. So this one, let's navigate to Gmail. And as you can see right now, it's sending me the newsletter, which is if you look at the date and time, which is now, it is zero minutes ago. So it just sent. So as you can see, it looks something like this. And we have this existing value. I think the reason that uh, because I tested this uh, evening, when I built it seven hours ago, it's exactly looks the same as this one. So right now, after I seeing this one, everything is good to go. I can just, um, okay, right now let press publish and then it will send to everyone and that's how i do and send an email so yeah i that pretty much it so right now let's talk about how i implement unsubscribe so as you can see on every link we have the unsubscribe right here and so for the unsubscribe i implement like this 
So as you can see, when I send the inside the my challenge, so I the unsubscribe link. So we have the side URL and I create an API unsubscribe and passing the value ID. So the ID right here is come from the database ID. So I send this one and then inside my API unsubscribe right here, if you go navigate to this one. So as you can see, I get the ID and then I do the superbase admin and then I delete that user. And that's how I do it. So I think there's some concern on this part right here. So what if their ID is guessable? Well, I think it's like a, it is a UUID. It's possible that someone might be guessing your ID or it's, uh, I don't know, like it, it's possible, but I think I, I don't really care much about it. So, I mean, like let them try if they want to guess someone else UUID and try to unsubscribe, which is fine. I'm not going to handle on that case. So I think probably there's maybe there's a better way on doing the unsubscribe, but I think this is working fine for me. So I'm going to keep it like that. So yeah, so after we delete, um, delete the user and then it's, we are going to return them to the unsubscribe page and then we are going to have, if they are an error, we're going to return them the error. So let me show you what the unsubscribe page look like. So this is the unsubscribe page. So as you can see, there's some meme right here. Why did you unsubscribe? Okay, why, why? So um, that's pretty much it on how I implement the unsubscribe. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. So that's what I wanted to talk right now. And so I think there's something if I want to change, if in the future, if I wanted to change this one, and if the, this uh, is an open source as well you can grab the link in, in my description to my github and also to this demo so if i'm going to change it's probably change the ui i don't really like the, this ui much though like even though it, it's okay but i think i'm gonna change so because if you go if now if for example the dashboard right here the background of the input is not really good uh, I'm, I think I should change that and I also think one thing is like for the template right here I do not need to create full form so right now as you can see in order to generate this one uh, this part right here I take the value from like full form which is not look not good I mean not I mean it's not that not good it's like it can be changed right I can just create one form or one text area and then everything is a markdown and then after that it passed props instead of passing four props to the challenge template right here I think at the times because I I, I don't want to work with markdown it's gonna be not real not fast uh, because maybe I need to customize thing a little bit but that's why I go with this route but if I were to change probably I do that but anyway it's that pretty much that that's it so yeah don't forget to subscribe and if I have any project ideas I'm going to send you guys and I have a new project idea coming soon in the next video so stay tuned for that and for this project as well I will have uh, a videos full up of this one on how to build this one like from zero to finish maybe if you want that you let me know in the comment as well so yeah um so as always thank you for watching and see you in the next video